Thank you so much for joining me. I'm T Pain, and welcome to another Let's Learn Python. So feel free to click on the right side to use the skip ahead feature to jump to a specific section um, or the examples that you'd like to uh, learn. We're going to be using uh, Python 2.7.4 in this exercise. Um, you can download it from uh, python.org slash get it. This will build heavily on the past lessons, so feel free to go back and watch those again if anything is unclear. So let's go ahead and get started and open up idle. And so today's focus is going to be loops. What are loops? Loops are a way to repeat a single action or a few actions over and over and over. Functions are used to repeat um, collections of actions or to create a process. So a real world example of a loop, it would be to wash a dish. You wash a single dish and then you grab another dish and then you wash that one and then you grab another dish and so on and so forth. And an example of a function would be to clean the whole kitchen. It's a whole process of little actions combined into a uh, much more neatly packaged thing. All right, so how do we use a loop? Well, there are several types of loops. Um, first one that we're going to go over is a while loop. And it says, while some condition is true, um, repeat the process. So type along with me, x equals 0. Enter. And then we're going to type in while, and then open parentheses to set up our conditional, x is less than 10, close parentheses, uh, colon, enter, x plus equals 1, enter. And so what this is doing is it's going to be, uh, while this x is less than 10, keep adding 1. Add 1 again and again and again. Press enter one more time and run it. And now it's done. Now type x to see what the value is. And it's 10 now. Because 10 was the condition at which uh, it was no longer less than 10. It was now equal to 10. So this statement becomes false and it breaks the loop. All right, so as we found, one way to stop a loop from continuing on infinitely is to have the conditional change somewhere within it. And so another way to keep a loop from looping forever uh, would be to use a break. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and type in an example of a break. So x comma y is equal to zero comma zero. And this is a very uh, advanced and not so clean way of um, cr setting up multiple variables. Uh, personally, I love it, but uh, yeah, there you go. And so next we're gonna type in while open parentheses true close parentheses, colon, this is going to set up the loop to run forever. Type in enter, x plus equals 1, which is going to integrate uh, the x value by 1 every time, and we're going to type in enter, y plus equals 2, and so this is going to uh, step up the value of y plus 2 every time, and then we're going to set up a conditional to break the loop. If, open parentheses, x plus y greater than 10, close parentheses, colon, enter, break. The keyword break is how it's going to stop. Enter, and then type enter again, and it'll work. And now if we type x, we can see the value is 4, y, the x and y values combined to a value of 12 ended up meeting the condition that caused the loop to break. All right, great job so far. So next we're going to be dumping into for loops. And it says, uh, and a for loop is basically for each item in a list or range. Do something over and over and over again. So it's a great way of running through a list. So let's type in another example. x space equals and then we're going to create a list of random numbers, 1, 2, and 7, whatever. And again, we create a list using uh, open, close, square brackets. Enter. So now we're going to type in 4i in x, which says for each individual item within the uh, list or range x. Enter. Print i. Enter, enter. And now look what happened. It printed out um, each individual value of x within that list separately. 
And so if we want to do any operations, we could perform those right there where that print i is. All right, so let's combine the power of a for loop with a range. And uh, a range is a keyword function that uh, creates a sequence of numbers. And by default, it goes from 0 up to, um, but not including the last value you put in. So let's go ahead and type in for i in range, open parentheses, 30 close parentheses, colon, enter, print, i, enter, enter. And now look what happened. We've got a full list of numbers printed out um, from 0 all the way up to 29. So again, it prints up to, but not including, the last number in the range. So let's go ahead and try that again, but this time we're going to include a few more parameters within the range function. So we're going to type in for i in range, open parentheses, and let's type in 10, comma, 30, comma, 2, close parentheses, colon. And so what this is saying is from 10 to 30, increment by 2. So that's from 2 and increment by right there. Type in enter, and then type print i. Enter, enter. And now look what happens. It goes from 10, 12, 14, only printing the even numbers because it's intervaling by 2. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. So as you can see, there's a lot of power in using this for loop combined with the range keyword to get very specific numbers that you want that are sequential. So let's say that we had a number that we wanted to skip past, or a certain range of numbers that we wanted to skip past. So here's a perfect instance where we could use the keyword continue. Continue allows us to skip past um, a, a value and move on to the next increment of the loop. So for example, let's say that we only wanted to print non-multiples of 3. So we're going to type in 4i in range. 30, oops, 30, colon, enter, if not, open parentheses, i is percent sign, 3, and so what this says is for every value in the range 30, um, if the number has some remainder when divided by 3, um, and we're including the not, so that we're just getting multiples of 3, then we're going to skip over them. and t uh, So we're going to type in continue, and then type print i, enter, enter. And so now we print only non-multiples of 3. So 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, 11, and so on. Perfect. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Great job in keeping up today. Uh, definitely take a few minutes to investigate these final examples um, as they really have thought-provoking concepts within them. Um, they go over a lot of the topics that we went over. Also, please do me a huge favor and subscribe to my channel. That way you never miss another episode as I crank them out. And thank you so much for your support and keep the dream alive.